yo, it's like fucking if One Punch Man there just saw that Staten chapter right there, he'd be fucking proud. Just One Punch, take the fucking teeth out, take the fucking mouth guard out, and everything. He'd probably just salute you, Tokolaza, because boy, was that a fucking championship match that you had. So we get to see, like, seeing Riku, he was, like, watching, like, a bunch of, like, the old matches that, like, Tokolaza was actually part of. I just love it, like, at the end, he's, like, at 20 years old, he's, like, earned, like, the championship belt. He's, like, yeah, like, he's got tongue out. He's got, like, fucked up face. He's, like, yeah, I fucking murdered this guy. I just got a belt. And, like, Riku's just, like, there saying, yeah, I fucking enjoy this match. Gee, I wonder why, Riku, maybe because he just knocked that guy clean the fuck out like he physically just knocked in the clean out and he's like yo like he, that shit wasn't easy man it's like you know after all you know you want to go for like a world title belt and stuff like that you know just because you know even that it's like he would rather just have that light division belt more than the money or even the world belt just to show that he's strong enough that is just his goal there he's strong enough just to protect the things around him. And it's like, he don't give a fuck. That just shows, like, how little the fuck he gives to anything. It's like, he's like, even as, uh, that's the thing. It's like, you know, whether or not you have the results as a pro, like, you, depends on if you have the ability to truly hurt people. And he's like, and, like, Riku was like, what do, wait, what do you mean if I can hurt people? It's like, you know, there's, I, and I think I was saying, there's more to the ring than just actually deal, dealing physical blows. You have to get into the mind of the opponent. You need to, like, read them. You need to fucking just decimate them, and if they, like, do one single fuck-up, it's like, you need to go. Not gonna lie, there was a really sick panel in his chat, where he was just, like, flicker-jabbing, like, through, like, the fucking bag, and he's just, like, doing all the ducking and weaving, fucking doing little Dempsey rolls and shit, and, it's like, when fucking Baba, like, just gets back, he's like, yo, like, look what you fucking done to my punch, like, to my punching ball. It's like, what the fuck have you done to it? It's like, all shredded and shit, and he's like, oh, whoops and he's like yeah fuck it why not it's like one thing that like was really interesting about this is like you know that really got me interested was like when baba actually said you went to kiosk's place and he's like don't visit him anymore he's now you it's like and he tried to like completely change the subject to like completely and it was like saying from him like you like from now on he'll have nothing to do with him and say now you're a boxer who lives and breathes in that world so in his way it's like saying yeah I won't look at you because, like, maybe I'll just look at you as a rival from now on. Like, maybe I'll look... Not even that. Like, look to him as a goal. He's not going to teach him anything. He's just going to watch him, I feel, from the shadows and just say, like, hey, he did good that day or something. I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he's, like, in the next match or something that he, like, if Riku either loses or wins his next match, it's like, okay, like, you know, he's, like, in the background saying, yeah, that kid was fucking awesome. Like, he would just watch all his matches from the side or some shit or, like, watch them on telly. It's like, you know, I kind of like that. It's like, you know, he's there just smoking a cigar. It's like, you know, he's not a fucking teacher. He's not a friend of Riku at all. He he is a Yakuza member and all he's being there is like, yeah, I'll be your goal. Doesn't mean I'll make it easy for you. And when the second like Bala tells him like, oh yeah, we got an opponent for you, he just starts going back on the bag, fucking just smashing it up. Like he just keeps going absolutely nuts. He's like, you know, he's like, you like, oh, do what the fuck you want, you little prick. And it's like you just see that it's like that determination on that fucking face. It's like. He's like, I don't give a fuck. He's like, you know, he's like got some uh, angry punches to fucking let out. He's like saying like his cold shoulders, like conversely, like to like angrier and angrier punches. This kid is ready to let out some rage. It's like, he's just, I feel like as well as like, he's a ticking time bomb. I honestly feel like that. I feel like Riku's a ticking time bomb and he honestly is going to snap because you know, regardless of what Tokoro's are, like he felt like completely empty if he didn't have anything. He's like, you know, uh, He's saying, like, oh, he's been on the own. He's like, oh, this loneliness reminds me of, like, what I used to feel poor meeting the guy. And it's like, he's like, well, that's, like, really interesting that he said that. It's like, I oh, know, that was some kind of deep shit from Riku. And he's like, he's like, and he literally thinks, like, the only times that he can get away from that loneliness is when he's in the ring. And it's like, that's the only thing that distracts me. So, and that is, like, that was an interesting chapter. Like, I feel like that was, like, more of the slower ones that had some sick parts to it but definitely i'd say more on the slower part of this chapter i definitely say that that but i mean it's great setup well, at least we finally got the debut match and it's being arranged and shit like that so yeah definitely by next chapter or the next one after i definitely want to see him fighting this guy like um i saw a picture of him but we don't know the name of him i'm pretty sure 
he's probably going to be Mr. Fucking Irrelevant, but regardless of what, it's like, you know, it'd still be nice to know, but overall, tap date, still good, I mean, we're halfway through this series, I'm fucking loving it, and, you know, I've been seeing some good results from you guys saying, you know, like, you really like me doing this, so I'm curious in the conversation down below if there's any other series you want me to try this with, it might have to be a little bit smaller, like, or something like that, or, like, not wrong, if you tell me to go and do this to One Piece, go and fuck off, because I'm already caught to that, or some, nothing One Piece link for something like that, please God, no, but, yeah, let me know in the conversation down below, because I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this and it's like hey one good fucking side of this is that i could do this whenever the fuck i want i don't have to be on no schedule or nothing i could just do this right at later times and it's like there you go there's your last video for the day and it's my rikudo chapter so there you go people so it puts me on a happy mood because i really enjoy talking about this i can't wait to actually catch up to the series it's like i really really tempted myself not just to barrel, barrel through it but it's like we'll be going through it and we're already in, you know, to chapter like eight now, so we're over a week through, so that's great. So that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching as always, and remember, I'll see you guys next time.